I'm giving you guys the top five best class setups in Warzone. This is going to be everything that you guys need. And honestly, every single loadout here is going to be optimal for Warzone 3. So we're going to start out with the Ram 9. The first thing you're going to want on this SMG is a Zemin 35 compensated flash hider. Now, I'm going to make this an absolute insane low recoil speed build. It's basically going to have no recoil. So you guys are going to look forward to this. It shortens the radar ping. It increases the vertical recoil control along with horizontal recoil and firing aim stability. You do lose some bullet velocity and aim down sight speed, but I think that's the least of your worries. This thing absolutely melts from close range. And if they're not able to hit you in the first place, it's going to be insane. So trust me and just go with the rest of the attachments. Put on the FSS Imperator Light Barrel for aim walking speed and bullet velocity and range at the cost of gun kick control and recoil control. Now, I know you guys see those massive cons and you're thinking, well, how is this going to have zero recoil? Trust me, I have some more attachments that are going to counteract this. So don't worry. Throw on the Bruin Heavy support grip for gun kick control, aiming out sway, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed and vertical recoil. Now the vertical recoil situation is already handled, and you just get a slight reduction of aim down sight speed. And believe me, you're not gonna notice it with how fast this thing is. This thing is gonna have zero recoil. Now this part is completely up to you. You can use the 50 or 40 round mag. If you have the 40, then you're gonna have less cons than you have the 50. I mean, it's just a little bit different. It's completely up to you, whatever you want to use. If you really weigh like your options, you're just getting a slight reduction of sprint speed with the 50 round mag, whereas with the 40, you really don't get that. Also, you do have a little bit less ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. So it's just something you have to keep in mind. So whichever one you want to pick, completely up to you. Then put on the Retort 90 grip tape for firing, aim stability, gun kick control, and recoil control. You do lose some aiming out of sway, but that does not matter. I want you guys to just take a moment and see how fast this is. Like this, this SMG is literally one of the fastest SMGs in the game, strafing wise. And honestly, like it up close and personal, it's just absolutely vicious. I just want to show you guys, like even at mid range, it does get the job done pretty good. But the main thing about this SMG is just how fast the strafe speed is. Like how is anyone going to catch you when you're moving like this? It's just going to be way too too fast and it's just gonna get the job done super easily so this is the entire class setup right here make sure you guys do copy it down take a picture whatever you guys gotta do this is what i highly recommend and if you guys didn't want to use the imperator then you guys could take it off and put on i don't know something along the lines of like a high grain you could take off the brune heavy support grip instead of that you could put on the hvs 3.4 pad and that's if you guys don't care about movement so if i did that we would take this off take this off you would put on the high grain and then for the stock, you put on the HVS. And then in the end, it would basically look like this, which is kind of insane as well. I mean, it's pretty easy to use this version as well. I mean, it does have good strafe speed as well. I just think that the other version is kind of quicker. So it would be completely up to you guys, whatever you want you guys want to use. And then if you wanted to take it a step further, you actually could take off the high grains. I recommend keeping the high grains, but you could take off the high grains. You put on the DR6 hand stop, and they'll be even quicker. So... Instead, now it'll be moving like this, except now you don't have an increase of bullet velocity. You do uh, basically have a little bit more movement speed, ADS speed, which is kind of optimal. But the only downside is, like I said, the bullet velocity does go down a little bit. With, with the buffed uh, bullet velocity update for the Ram 9, it might be worth it for you. So whatever you guys want to do, feel free to try it out. But these are all the different varieties of the Ram 9 that you guys could actually try and take a picture of. Next is the Ram 7, and there's only one class setup I can give you guys for this, and it just works perfectly. I'm surprised that people haven't used this more often, especially this class setup, because I don't change it, and people just think that I'm cheating when I'm using this because I have no recoil. Now, number one thing is just throwing Cass's break. Like, this is... I wouldn't be surprised if this is the only thing you need, but I'm going to show you guys the entire class up. Just throw on the Cassis break for horizontal recoil, firing aim stability. You do lose some aim down sight speed, but not, not a big deal at all. Just for stability, I mean, put on the Bruin Heavy support grip for gun kick control, aiming out of sway, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability. You do lose some vertical recoil and aim down sight speed, but that's not a big deal. In fact, these are the only two things I would suggest to actually make it have no recoil. Everything else kind of helps with bullet velocity and the amount of bullets and all that. Next, throw on the Cronin Headwind Long Barrel for bullet velocity and range, aiming out of sway, and firing aim stability. You do lose some hip fire attack stand spread, aim walking speed, spread to fire speed, but that's not really a big deal. I don't really recommend anything else. They're just not really as optimal as this thing right here. Just because the bullet velocity and range makes it so good. The next one is a given, the 60 round drum. I mean, if you're playing quads, trios, even in fact, any game mode except maybe solos, this is what you need to have. With solos, I mean, I'll be okay with using 40 just because, I mean, one-on-one -on -one engagement's not really a big deal. But 
If you're playing trios and quads, then make sure you have 60. And then the HVS 3.4 pad for gun kick control and recoil control at the cost of sprint speed and sprint to fire speed. Like I said, these recoil control things are really the essential thing to make this have no recoil, and I can't wait to show you how powerful it is. Watch this. So this thing is absolutely busted. It does not take much effort to use. Like I'm surprised that people say like, oh, my RAM doesn't do that. My RAM has a whole lot of recoil, and I'm just like, well, just throw this attachment on there. Like, it's really that simple. I remember streaming literally just yesterday. In fact, if you guys are watching this right now, I'm most likely live. But I remember streaming this just yesterday, and people were just like, well, what's your RAM class? Because my RAM doesn't shoot like that, and you must have a Cronus. And it's just like, no, it's really just this class right here. Like, if you don't have this class, if you haven't tried this class, then you're missing out a lot. This is a very easy RAM 7 class to use. You'll have no recoil. Next is the HRM9. This is basically the best SMG in the game, so I had to make a class setup for you guys and make it very easy for you. Throw on the Zemin 35 compensated flash higher, it shorts the radar ping, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability helps a lot. Now, you do lose some bullet velocity and aim down sight speed, but I mean, I honestly so highly recommended it. If you don't want to use this, then the only alternative I really would recommend uh, it's kind of risky, but the monolithic suppressor, if you guys don't want to deal with that, then you guys can go all the way over here and then use the L4R flash hider. I think that's really the best alternative otherwise if you don't want to lose any sort of bullet velocity, but I don't think that you guys are going to notice the bullet velocity that much, so I think you guys should keep this. Next, you're going to want to have the DR6 handstop for aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, and movement speed. You do lose some aim walking steadiness and hit fire attack stance spread, but I just don't think it matters because if you put on the Thor 90 barrel, you get hit fire attack stance spread, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed and sprint speed and just lose a little bit of aiming out sway and recoil control which you're not gonna notice next make sure you put on the 50 round drum just because i mean there's really no better option if you put on 20 you're just gonna run out of bullets way too fast this is the best possible choice and the last thing is the folding stock for recoil control gun kick control and firing aim stability you do lose some aim down sight speed but everything we put on there this is literally the most perfectly balanced smg this smg reigns supreme at basically all ranges except long range is just a little bit of a challenge just because it does have an initial jump before it actually settles like you guys see there is a little bit of a jump and then you guys kind of get the shot on point so if you guys can control that shot on point in the beginning then i mean i would say that it's lethal in every single range you just be careful i mean what what situation do you really want to put yourself in where you have to shoot from 30 like 30 meters i just don't really recommend that i think that you guys just stick to the 10 to 20 meters and you'll be good to go but here's the entire class of the hrm9 make sure you guys copy this down because this is basically meta this is everyone's using a bit competitive along with the ram 7 so if you guys want a meta loadout it's a ram 7 and hrm9 so make sure you guys are copying this part down new loadout that everyone's been using as well as the soa subverter this thing is incredibly easy to use so i have to give you guys this build just because it gets the job done very easily throw on the cast's break l it helps with horizontal recoil and firing aim stability you do lose some aim down sight speed but nobody cares when it comes to battle rifles and ARs. Next one on the Dozer, 90 long barrel for bullet velocity and range, firing aim stability, gun kick control and recoil control. You do lose some aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, aim walking standards, and aim down sight speed, but trust me, the trade-off is worth it. It's just so amazingly broken. Next put on the Bruin Heavy Support Grip for gun kick control, aiming out sway, horizontal recoil and firing aim stability. You do lose some vertical recoil and aim down sight speed, but the trade-off is once again worth it. You're going to have a laser once this is done. 50 round drum, I don't recommend the 30 round mag. I mean, if you want to use it, make sure you're using it in solos, otherwise just stick with the 50 round drum. And the very last thing is the Motion V2 Heavy Stock for recoil control and gun kick control at the cost of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Now, if you want something very similar to the RAM where you can just shoot people out the air from like miles away, then this is exactly what you need. Like this takes no effort at all. It's actually insane. I'll be honest when I say like this is the only competitor to the RAM. Like I can't think of any other weapon that competes so easily with the RAM than this. This actually acts, if I can compare it to anything else, this acts more like the MW3 ACR. So here's the entire class. Make sure you guys copy it down and you will absolutely fry. Final gun I want to show you guys is the Wasp 9 because it's just such an amazing SMG, especially when you pick it up off the ground. Like this is the only weapon I can actually trust with ground loot that I can easily shred no matter what the enemy has. Throw on the Zemin 35 compensated flash hider for shortens the radar ping, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability. You do lose some bullet velocity and aim down sight speed, but trust me, that's completely fine. Next, put on the DR6 hand stop for aim walking speed, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed at the cost of hip fire attack stance spread, and aim walking steadiness. Put on the 9mm high grain rounds for bullet velocity and damage range at the cost of recoil control. The only reason I chose this is because I wanted as much bullet velocity as possible, and despite whatever I do with the recoil control, it just really doesn't seem to make a difference so 
I just chose something that was kind of optimal with a little bit of recoil control for this entire setup. I chose a 40 round mag now. Some people can choose 50, completely up to you. You gotta weigh your pros and cons. I just don't think that it's really necessary to have 50. I like the 40, but if you wanna use 50, feel free. And the last thing I put on there is a Niter Model 2023. This is just my personal preference. If you guys wanna use an iron sight, then just throw another attachment on there. The Wasp 9 is honestly one of the best SMGs in the game. And I'll actually go as far as to say, like if you're able to hit your long range shots as well, which I mean, I'll be lucky if I do because of the jumps a little bit. But if you're able to hit those long range shots, then this is lethal at every single range. It just gets the job done so easily and it's just such an amazing weapon to have in your arsenal. So make sure you guys have this class set up down. Like it's just such an amazing thing to have. And here's the entire thing. Make sure you guys take a picture of this class, whatever you guys have to do. And let me know which class is actually your favorite in this video.